This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar here with more Yeast, uh, Yeast 1 Chronicles for uh, the PSP. Today, we've reached the town of Mania. We need to find out a few things. Some information, perhaps some weaponry, and talk to the town folks. How are you doing, my dear? On the other side of the northern path, there's a huge bull-shaped crater known as Bagu Badet. Hmm. Seems to be where the thieves are coming from. Guess they made their hideout there. A possible new location. Let's keep uh, exploring around. See if uh, we do need to get some weapons, but uh, let's see if we run across it. Looks like this might be an item shop, possibly. Yeah, just to let you, I had to re-remind people that the sometimes going through doors and going to new areas there will be slight load times. So even if it doesn't say loading, so yeah, that's gonna bug me too. I'm so used to games just like yeah. That was the problem with the PSP, just slow load times depending on the game. Oh, ho, ho, something you need? What do you do? What do you have to say? Red hair is rare around here. You're not from around these parts, are you? I'm from the mainland myself, but I got trapped on this lousy island by the storm wall. I think I could cut you a good deal since you're a fellow foreigner. All right. What do you got? A ring, a wing, a mirror. Unfortunately, I have no idea what any of those do. Um, I don't want to buy anything I'm not familiar with yet. I'll definitely come back if I have extra money from uh, armor and stuff like that. Okay, so I can't... Because uh... first thing in any game, especially an action game, is always equip yourself before any, any fruitless stuff. Before the monster showed up, we used to always play under that huge tree in the plains. We can't do that now. The grown-ups won't let us go outside. The walls aren't city walls anymore. Alright. Let's try another house. Luckily, after after a certain point, there's very few towns that are actually in the game. There's like, I think four or five towns. So most of the game will actually be me actioning it up and attacking people, uh, creatures and things, so don't worry. You must not go to the mine. Those monsters are extremely powerful. That you'll be killed for certain. It's fortunate for us that they never venture outside, whereas they can't stand daylight. Okay, another possible location. My father is the mayor of Zepic Village to the north. What are you doing here, then? Uh, lately, he's been a little preoccupied with something, though. Last time I saw him, he was all like... all He was all like, the villagers mustn't hear this. I don't know why when someone says all like this, that sounds like a valley girl. Please, if you go to Zepic Village, would you talk to him for me? Okay. Epic build and another possible game. Did I already talk to this dude? I saw Pim pick a ring off the ground the other day. Right after that, I went straight to the store and put it on the shelf. What kind of low life would just sell something he finds on like that? That might be part of like a side quest. Ooh, another, another little girl. Mister, are you a swordsman? Well, the fortune teller lady's been looking for a child. Ooh. Please go and see her. Okay. That sounds like our next uh, objective. Okay, we already talked to you. What do you have to say? Up. Oh. Loading, it must be an important person. I am Ray, a poet and troubadour. My priceless silver harmonica has been stolen. I don't know what to do. I value it nearly as much as my own life. Okay, we'll find your silver harmonica on our way, my dear. Do not worry. All right, let's talk to Yeah, I have a bad habit of like wanting to talk to other people. Now, if I was playing like a true full RPG, like Final Fantasy or something, like that, I'd probably only talk to the people that are important or that have like really funny dialogue. Because that would just be... Okay. Making this travel to the city walls completely pointless. Yeah, I thought there was going to be someone up there to talk to. Who knew? It's always, like, weird when you see dead ends and stuff like that game. You're almost like, someone had to program that. Alright. Is this the inn? Wait, Dr. Klaus? No, wait. No, that's someone else. Never mind. Send the side, please. There are patients to be seen. Me, I'm Dr. Klaus. Okay. Please, let me pass. I must hurry. Okay. For some reason, I thought I'd seen that guy before. I don't know why. Deja vu, I guess. Ah. This must be the cl clinic of this place. Hello. How may I help you? Uh, talk to the nurse, Lisa. It's been quite busy in here ever since the monster started showing up. People are always getting hurt. Dr. Klaus went to make a house call at Zepic Village since they have no medical facility or staff there. Okay. I don't need healing or medicine, so... At least not yet. Not until I actually get weapons. So, so Dr. Klaus will be at Zepic Village, so we'll probably run into him again. Okay, that's the bar. Is that right? Right there. I'm just getting a, kind of a, a sense of uh, my location. Okay. I got a couple more houses. Let's go. Try to go down the line. Hello. Since the monsters started showing up, all the children are prohibited from leaving the city. 
They look like they've grown tired of being cooped up here. What else can we do? It's for their own good. Hmm. My mother lives by herself in Barreto. I keep trying to tell her to move in with me since it's so much safer inside the city walls, but she won't listen. Yeah, we talked to that lady. She says, she says, well, I won't say it in proper company. Never mind. Main point talking to people, just gotta give you a sense of like what's going on in the world, background, all that. The path around the tower wall is pretty narrow. Transporting silver to Barbado port was a pain even before the storm wall. As a result, we've considered erecting a south gate, but we don't want to compromise the wall structure, you know. That's why you have to walk around. That's inconvenient for me. I wish to make pat taxpayers pay for a southern wall. Alright. Let's go into the bar. See if let's get delightfully drunk. Oh wait, this is rated T. I don't think characters can get drunk in that. You know that harmonica play boat girl who hangs around the ramparts? She's real purdy. That song of hers is also real purdy. It's mesmerizing. Haven't heard it in a while, though. Yeah, she lost her harmonica. Glug, 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 glug. Ah. Man, this is good stuff. Oh. Hello? Nikki the Dancer. Welcome. Oh, oh my, a stranger. Don't worry, child. We're in the city of Mania. It's safe from the monsters. You have nothing to worry about here. All right. Can we see your dancing? No? No dancing? Okay. Hello, old man. Whoa. That was strange. Mormon spirits. Talk to you. Most go about a one-eyed man. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do. Thanks. I... Okay, that was something. Must go, man. Haven't seen your face before. Bartender. Ah, new face. From whence did you come, sir? Barbado, you say? Ah, you're the lad who crossed the storm wall, then. I heard about you from members of the Barbado militia. Man, I only went, like, one scene, or two, like, scenes to, like, the village. I supposedly got there first, but information got there before I did. Well, you know what the rule is. Information travels faster than you do. Uh, in fantasy games, where there's no such thing as quick travel, except by bird or something. Anyway. Sorry if I sounded a bit suspicious when I asked you where you're from. Later, there have been a lot of break-ins, so I thought maybe you were casing my establishment. Nope. Not today, anyway. Alright. Have you visited a fortune teller's house? She may be young, but she's good. If you ever need advice or guide, she can always set you in the right path. I'm a mysterious foremost tour guide. Or at least I used to be. The blast of Stormwall had all the monsters that drew me right out of business. There was once an odd old man who wanted to tour the mountain ruins. That was before the Stormwall. He seemed to be a scholar. He said he planned on investigating Darm Tower. That means okay. Another possible occasion. Okay. I used to work at the silver mi miner, Doug. He's a miner. He shouldn't be drinking. But six months ago, the tunnels were overrun by monsters. It's all because of those damn, doom, dim, dumb monsters that I got. I got nothing to do but drink up and out. That almost uh, messed me up. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Stop. Stop talking. Stop talking. Thank you. Stop talking! Where, where is this fortune teller? Anyway, she's gotta be right here somewhere. Alright. Hello, lady. I'm, I'm here to rob you. My mother and grandfather say they want to go back to their old home, and they look so sad about that. The bats that come out from the mine at twilight are normal! The ferocious and they attack both humans and livestock! They were the primary culprits of the destruction of Raston. Alright. We used to live in Raston Village until the monster traces the ground anyway. It's anyone else here? Yeah, too bad there's really almost no point in going to people's houses. There's like no treasure chest or anything. Oh well. Alright, um, let's see. I already went across here. So that means this is a decent sized village. Then again, it's supposed to be a big burg of some sort, so. Hello. This might be the maybe this is the fortune teller's house. Ooh. Hello. Tell me my future. Tell me the winning lottery numbers. Oh my, it's you. You are not from Hysteria, correct? Did you come here by crossing the storm wall? Goddesses, thank you. I've waited so long for this day. You are the one who I've been seeking. Please, get your equipment in order, then return here at once. I must beg a favor of you. Okay, she's basically saying, buy your crap. Alright, I'll buy my crap. My crap office tells me stare at fairy tales. My favorite one's the one about the silver sword used to defeat the army of monsters a long time ago. Hmm, wonder if I will get a silver sword at some point. Who knows? Hello, old man. We're very fortunate to have Dr. Klaus in the city. His potions really hit the spot. Anytime there's an emergency, he's always there in a flash. It's true here to us all. 
Not like Barry Allen's flash. Just a flash. A flash, not the flash. I saw this really sculpted, scrumptious looking man the other day. Real debonair, too, with his black cape. Ooh, you're into the, you're into the moody guys, huh? When he looked at me, I swear, I was scared out of my mind. His eyes were almost inhuman. A possible villain, perhaps? Nay, a ne'er do weller? Man, there's like no equipment. Now, I think I have to go back to the original city, but I've had to talk to her first and lot that, which is kind of annoying. Mayor, when the monsters started attacking, a lot of people moved from here from Raston and Barbado Port. Ah, uh, yeah, Mania is protected by walls, but we can't just shut ourselves away in here. We gotta fight back. Alright. Mania has an ancient history. Supposedly, its walls were built a very long time ago. It's like a miracle that people could, uh, back then could build huge stone ramparts like these. Oh, no, here's a weapon shop. Okay. Uh, okay, you can see Darn Tower. Uh, it's amazing that our ancestors figured to build a tower that shuts up beyond. I think I talked to a guy with that. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Who's that? Shim? Where's this, uh, silver mine closed? Okay. Still, it's not like we could actually sell any of our silver with the storm wall ball. Oh, I never talked to her. Yeah, at that point. Well, like a good game, you need to learn how to, uh, attack things. So let's buy a sword. Or a equivalent. A sharpened butter knife, as it were. Oh, welcome! What do you have to say? You have to be careful when fighting monsters. Never approach them head on. That's suicide. If you strike from the side or the back, even the toughest enemies can be taken down easily. That's telling you how to actually fight monsters in the game. Alright, let's buy a weapon. Uh, well, I don't know how much things cost. Let's start with the short sword then. Let's see. Yep. Okay. That'll give me at least money for, like, basic armor. Okay. Probably if I want to risk it, I probably could buy a really strong. Sorry. Uh, wrong button. Okay, if you press the start button, you can go to equip, equip the sword, or sorry, you highlight, press X. Yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of uh, uh, different equipments in the game, so you know, you only have so many choices, but uh, why that guy shells three of the items on Sword Tal War, and then there's two, and there's a... But the last, usually last couple slots are the rare or last in-game items, so anyway, we got a sword. Now we can fight stuff. I don't... Oh, uh, see, look at my guy. Ooh, he's got a sword. Look at that. All right. Let's play some armor. Let's defend ourselves, shall we? Let's see what this... Ah, welcome. What do we do? Offense is a great luxury, but defense is an absolute necessity. At, a, at such, proper uh, uh, armor is vital. They say the best defense is a good offense, but if the situation gets ugly, offense won't matter one whit. All right, let's buy some armor. Uh, let's see how much chain mail it costs. Uh, it's made of knitted chain, easy to move around in, well ventilated, so it's not to slow cook its wear. Okay, how much is a shield? Sorry. Ah! Stop it! No! Okay. I want to see how much a shield costs. Then th that one's not as important, though. If it's 100, small wheel made of reinforced wood, it's light and easy. Whoa. 700? Yeesh. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's only so many pieces of armor in the game. I guess I gotta make it expensive. So let's get a. Let's get some armor. Okay. We'll save money for the. Depending on how I play the game, I might try to. I haven't played this game in forever, so I don't know if I'm gonna like straight up like try to buy more expensive stuff or just buy the slow stuff uh, as we go along. Now, uh, I haven't explained before, but this is an action RPG game, so unlike Legend of Zelda, where you just have a stat set number of like strength, but you get items to increase that strength over time. Uh, in this game, you actually level up, so there will be some grinding in this game. Uh, I'll try to keep it to a minimum, or at least on screen. But anyway, let's. Now that we've got our equipment, let's talk to the fortune teller again. I have to have a shield too, so I do have to go grind for like 600 gold. All right. Well, it'll give me a good chance. To, it'll give me a good chance to show you combat. Um, so let's go fight some creatures to get 600 more gold to afford the small shield. I guess I'm glad I bought the cheapest equipment so I could actually. So it'd be a, a minimum amount of uh, level grinding. Or, well, in this case, we're money grinding. So. All right, let's go back to the old area first and see if I can kill this. Uh, let's see. I don't... Uh, I actually don't remember how to uh, fight in this game, so it may, be, it may have to give me a second while I figure it out. Okay. Let's see, does directional pads don't do anything? Oops, sorry. Press X. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, let's, uh... Okay, so you run into them. Uh, looks like I have to press the X, hold down the X button. Okay. 
Ow. Took a small amount of damage. Ouch. And I'm gonna be grinding for a while. Uh, maybe I can go do something to get some extra money. Yeah, so you basically just hold down the X button. That'll that'll be uh, um, and if you run at the creature's head long, you can. There's a good chance of actually. I'm kind of hurt, so let's show you how the uh, uh, healing works in this game. So we need to go back to the good doctor who found us in the beginning of the game. As soon as we let it up, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna play just a little bit longer on screen in the episode, and then I'll grind for money and stuff like that. Okay, the uh, where was the doctor's house again? Ah, over here. This way. This way! Fair. Fair doctor, I need help. Uh, okay. Let's see. Now, how much does it cost to actually get healed? That sword. Fair enough. You want to see Asteria with your own eyes, do you? Oh, sorry. I wasn't doing this voice. If you're that determined, I don't plan to stop you. But please be careful. Oh, I left the city without going back to talk to him again. <laughs> I, I didn't even think about that. No. First the stern wall, then the monsters. What's next? A plague of locusts? Well, you're still with us. Seems like the head of fate is guiding you. Fools rush in, though. Best chat with the town, so you might learn something. How about the nurse? Hurt again? Just cause you're having a dash, does not mean you're invincible, okay? Ooh, she's hitting on me, huh? This is probably going to hurt. Disinfected, medicated, bandages, praying profusely? There we are. Try not to strain yourself. You need your strength. Now, that cost money. It didn't cost much. I'm sorry, we're all out of red digitus plants. We need to make healing potions. That's cost that Medea should have some extra, though. You should go see him. Except he's at, uh... He's at, uh... He went to Zepic, or Zipic, whatever. So, all right. You know, actually, let me go ahead and, uh... Since I'll give it a few more minutes, um... I'm going to... I, I'll just go explore a little bit further, see how far I can get. Uh, not too, not too difficult uh, when you figure out the pattern. I will start. I will. Hopefully, I'll get better at uh, attacking and stuff like that. Although the way I'm using this, I'm not actually looking on my PSP. If you haven't figured it out already, kind of like when I was playing the uh, pretty game, I've, uh, I'm doing a special hookup with my PSP to my uh, my um, uh, my recorder, which shows up on my TV. So I'm actually showing this. I don't know if I ever mentioned that back in when I played ZHP. Uh, versus Dark Death Evil Man. The same thing. It's a, it's like a component cable that plugs up in the PSP and into my, uh, I forgot my recorder's called now. Um, and so, uh, that's how I, uh, record. So that way I get a huge visual instead of having to, like, crane my neck and look at it, you know. I just sit in my chair, look at my TV screen, and, uh, there you go. It's a little odd for recording at times, but, uh, anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's explore a bit past Mania. See if we can uh, find any treasure, more new creatures or whatnot. So, nice. Then even uh, okay, let's see what this. Uh, Seven village, huh? Okay. Might head that way while we're while we're trying to get. Man, that guy does a lot of damage. He may have to go uh, heal again already. Now see what happens. Oh, I died. Huh. Well then, I <laughs> oh wasn't I should have got back to heal so and I have to reload it all over again and do all that so all right I think this is a good good chance to end this episode with the uh, the death music and Adol dying and everything. All right uh, oh in this game you can save as far as I know you can save almost whenever you want so if you're worried about dying just go ahead and save it unlike me who didn't so in the next episode of uh, East One Chronicles Adol will come back from the dead, kill some creatures, earn some money, and uh, hopefully get started on his new adventures. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.